We're back! Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to Feel Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacy J. Aswan. Hey everybody, Chuck and Stacy here with VO Buzz Weekly. Here we go, grand finale part three with Rob, Jess, and Tress, the Animaniacs. Let's go. As for myself, in slow times, again, it's like I've, I've been very blessed in so many ways and there's so many things I'm grateful for. And one of them is that I have this kind of non-attachment thing. And when things would might get a little slow, I'd be like, oh cool, I can do other stuff now. That is <laughs> a big deal, folks. Yeah. yeah. Yes. If you so, can cultivate yeah. that ability, yeah. Huge. Mm. Yeah. I didn't have it until maybe now. Yeah. 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 But if you have that, that's a big deal. Yeah, I always just kind of looked at it like, oh, cool. I can go make a record. Yeah. Well, you yeah. had your music. I got yeah. music. Yeah. I could go, I could go write a book. I could go do this. I, there's so many things. I could clean up my garage. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. We're and still waiting for that. Yeah. Well, listen, the reason my garage is so bad is because I'm working a lot. And, and so we're gonna I, cut I, to I the garage cam. No. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. I think I think. I think the challenge is to not have your joy and happiness attached to your booking right. ratio. No. Exactly. And that's where I think it can get difficult because and what we do is not just a job, it's part of ourselves. Exactly. You know, it's part of who we are, so it's hard to not feel that. But I think if you can get away from making it, oh, I'm in a great mood because I booked you know, five well, things today or had 10 auditions. What, um, what I did not and what I've cultivated, and I'm glad I chose to, but Jess is able innately to live in the moment. Pretty much. And it sounds... Very existential, but it's absolutely true. Even God can't change the past. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the like only con the only control you have of the future is whatever seed you sow right now. True. Yeah. So that Jess has the ability to say, "Oh, I'm going to clean my house or whatever." Oh. That and that takes months, by the way. Yes. Right. <laughs> and <laughs> That's he's the only hell. person I know That's who's not stuck elevator. in his own elevator. elevator. Yeah, I did. I did get stuck in the elevator. Dude, I'm room. stuck in the elevator. Can you in call my house? <laughs> That did happen. It did. I was going to see you. And my house. garage airport is in your car. Yeah, right. a lot of bad yeah. things happen like that, but yeah. I just let them go. Man. That's the point. You know, yeah. and that that's that's a very, very true that's thing. I just, that's a good thing to know. Man. I was just and like, oh. It's well, a big deal. It's yeah. an opportunity to do something else. And if yeah. you look at life that way, then life can look back with yeah. a smile. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. Absolutely. What, would, you, what about you? If you have the luxury of doing something else, yes. Yeah. And, you know, we are uh, lucky in that we can, you know, uh, have our uh, separate uh, pursuits now, but yeah. um, <clears throat> I um, I think having a strong work ethic it has really uh, helped us all. You know, you can't be lazy uh, oh. and be uh, a successful voice actor. No, because no. Uh, there's somebody uh, right, there. right behind you yeah. uh, <laughs> who thinks they can do things. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh silly, silly little, little girl. girl. Uh, um, I, you know, I, I, I started my career. I, I was a ca uh, casting director. I How worked with that? Bob. I worked with Bob Lloyd, the voice caster, uh, How about that? At, at the voice caster. And so, mind. you know, I held auditions and you know helped with the castings and uh, and was also pursuing my own thing, taking you know taking workshops mm. and and uh, working out at the Groundlings and. Um, it, doing the groundling shows and things like that, but um, but uh, Bob said you can fill your day. There's always something you can do for your career. Mm -hmm. You can work on your resume. This is back in the day when we, you know, typed out things and stuff like <laughs> that. You can work on your resume. You can work on your demo tape. You can, you know, work on your headshot if you, you know, if you do on camera. Uh, there's always something, something that you could do yes. to organ. You can study. You can take a workshop. Yeah. You can, you know, uh, uh, watch, you know, great films that will inform your uh, your work. And uh, so, you know, I always uh, w pursued my uh, work as like an athlete. You know, you get up in the morning mm -hmm. and you're ready to go to an audition at nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're ready, whether or not they've called. Because it used to be, I mean, we all wore beepers, yeah. and they said, can you be somewhere yes. in a half hour? Mm -hmm. Not can you, be somewhere in a half hour, and you would go, oh my God. And <laughs> you, you didn't want to miss any audition. Mm -hmm. You didn't want to miss any opportunity to do a demo, to do it for free. 
yeah. to audition Always. and know Always. that it would and know that it would get used yeah. Yeah. as a scratch yeah. track or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, and my goodness gracious, you had to physically go, go. somewhere. You had to go yeah. to audition. Yeah, oh that? yeah, that's why we're such drivers. But, you know what? <laughs> but you know, you know that's what that's a what Experience. you're talking about is simply called discipline. Yeah, yes. it really is. And I, oh yeah, I, I, like Tress said, I don't even know how many things I've done for free, and the way it's come yeah. back tenfold mm -hmm. yeah. in friendships, experience, opportunity, opportunity yeah. is miraculous. But again, mm -hmm. it's not a surprise. But your discipline is is really what that's about, and I I lacked it. I was just. Going, well, you keep great. yourself busy. Yeah, I do. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. I, when I got to that point, I thought, <clears throat> okay, I'm, I wasn't uh, arrogant. I just thought, all right, I'm 50, whatever, three years old. Yeah. I'm going to be able mm -hmm. to make a living. And yeah. we're just Yeah. Done. And a happy thing that did happen around that time, after, after your dip, mm -hmm. is all of a sudden, there were many more shows. You know, yeah. we used to be, we used to know yeah. every cartoon show oh, yeah. Yeah. that was on the air, and we knew yeah. the cast of every show, every show, and we were probably on most of the. <laughs> yeah, and most often of, they would start yeah, out with a yeah, and so, so, yeah, yeah, so yeah, somebody would true. show up that you'd never met before, right. and he's doing the little pudding heads that live down the lane. You go, well, I, I've never heard of that show, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know, and you are. Yeah. And it must not be a so good show because not, yeah. you know. The, the voiceover community <laughs> yes. consisted yes. of about, you know, 12 people. About, yeah, you know, 50 at the yeah, most. Yeah. Yeah. 50 people worked, did all the time. All the and there time. are 200,000 members. And that's of generous. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's generous. 50. Yeah. Usually it was about 25. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Those are the people that, that, that did the, the job. Yeah. And so uh, uh, it, was, it was great that all of a sudden, there was a lot, tons. there was more tons more product yeah. and more opportunities. And then we could, we could relax a little bit, you know, because I, I, I don't know, I think you probably uh, uh, feel or felt similarly. And that is you wanted to be on every show. Oh yeah. You want to be on every show. Mm -hmm. You don't want to say no. What, you what don't want to say no. I'm yeah, going to be on that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna audition for that. And you know what? When I would, when I would, when a new show would happen, and I didn't get one of the regulars, I, I felt like I didn't get a, a uh, an invitation to the cool party. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. like yeah. I knew I could still make a living, and I could probably be brought in for guest spots on the show. Yeah. Right. But it's like I, I want to play with the kids in the cool sandbox yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not personal. It's yeah. just I want more. It is like to be sure. It's like a drug. Yeah, it, it is. It, it is. It so, is. It yeah. fired yeah. my yeah. soul up. Yeah. 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 But. What you want more of is in tune with who you are. Oh, totally. I want the, the joy, beauty, the experience. That's the beauty yeah. of you people, and I, I love that. So yeah. yeah. First yeah. one's free, what's baby. A, but what's, after something, that, what's something that you would be willing to share that's still on your bucket list? Oh. oh. Um, well, I, hmm, on my bucket list. I, I, you know what? Honestly, I, obviously, it would be wonderful personally. But I am really looking forward to the time when, um, when the Academy will see fit to award an Oscar ah, for mm, that be nice? That's funny. Movies. I was just going to say. And the reason Oscar? I say that is, it got it got really close. I'm not close, but closer last year with our buddy Christopher Jim Christopher Robin. Right. Yes. And I remember literally sitting next to Jimmy, saying, "Dude, I, I mean, we know what Jim's capable of, yeah. but I said, you know." If there's going to be an Oscar, there has never been a better time. Mm -hmm. because two months later, I see a, uh, a cover story in Vanity Fair that says there is an Oscar-worthy performance in Christopher Robin, and it's not you and McGregor. Wow! Well, mm -hmm. right. And the mm -hmm. article was focused on Jim's performance. Oh, that's beautiful, that's man! And, um, so good. Uh, I was in a movie. Uh, that was nominated for uh, it was nominated for an Oscar in the first year that animated films were able, and that was in Jimmy Neutron. Mm -hmm. right? uh, but since then, of course, we know that animated movies are often the biggest money makers. Right. And whether it's Pixar or Disney or uh, which is the same thing or or uh, DreamWorks, whatever, it's getting more and more. 
So I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility no. that they, whether it's a celebrity talent or one of the rank and file yeah, like us. Totally. But Jimmy Cummings really broke a lot of ground on he our did. behalf. Yeah. With that, yeah. With that performance. Thanks, Jimmy. Because it was integral to the film and it was not by a celebrity talent. Mm -hmm. It was by the person who authentically gave voice to Winnie the Pooh. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it was a, an impactful film, an important yeah. film, and his performance was really a big deal. Yeah. So that's something on my bucket list I would like to see, if, uh, obviously for myself, but for one of our yeah. fellow performers. Yeah. It's, not incredible. A, it's not at all out of the realm yeah. of possible no. for Tress to get an Oscar nomination for her performance in a film. Yeah. yeah. And the little pudding heads who live down the road. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which You're on that now, on, Tress. That's You're on that. Uh, what, what about you, Tress? Actually, that's what Jim Cummings used to kid about that. He invented the little pudding heads. Is that right? Down the road. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, it all yeah. comes back. Jim invented that. But that what? would be cool. Yeah. yeah. And that's I think cool. it's possible. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Tress? <laughs> Do you have a bucket list uh, item? No, go to Just first. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, for me, I, I, at the end of the day, I always believe, you know, it's like sometimes I talk about uh, the qualities that make a successful person, you know. And when you say success, I always have to qualify and go, I don't mean a rich person. Yes. I mean a successful human being, mm -hmm. you know. And on my personal bucket list, you know, I've always been a romantic at heart. I really am. I mean, you know that. I love uh, I, yes. you know, I love even trying to get romantic with me. I know. I mean, it's like, well, you're you can hear man. the violins right now <laughs> as he he's squeezing. talking. Any yeah, port in the storm, Harnell. Yeah, come on, man. But the, the, the <laughs> thing is that I think I think that one of the greatest successes that you can have in your life is to have a really truly amazing relationship. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know, I I was so happy a couple of years ago because our dear Tressa found an amazing husband yes. and she is and who treats her like the queen. This was going to be, be my answer, by the way. Yeah, this right. is good. Yeah, see. Way to go, Jeff. So, yeah, yeah, listen, I'm just stealing go everything, ahead. man. But you know, and, and then <laughs> I have been uh, very blessed, you know, in recent times to you know meet somebody that I authentically believe is like my soulmate. Yeah. And so on my bucket list is honestly, you know She's terrific. I, she's the she's best, fantastic. man. And it's, and it's like I just I just want to have the kind of relationship that everybody hopes to have and, and few do. And the, the way I, I, I perceive as being able to do that is by treating her really well every day mm -hmm. yeah. and hoping that she does yeah. the same and being honest and loving and kind to each other even when you don't necessarily feel like it. Mm -hmm. And when you're not, yeah. you say you're sorry and yeah. you try to make it right. Yeah. And you just do things right. So on my bucket list is to have the kind of relationship that they write love songs about. All right. Uh, well, you're off to a great start. How and we Hallelujah. love we love our if girls. If Lemmy were to write a love song. That was song. beautiful. Yes. That was beautiful. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, oh. Trust. Trust. Oh, God. How am I going to Nobody's going to go before you now. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I, it, was, you but, to go it was going to be my answer because I, uh, I really don't have any mm. huge, uh, you know, desire to... You know, climb any climb mm. any mountains. Yeah. Uh, uh, Rob is is correct, and it would it would be it would be wonderful if uh, people in our profession, you know, the 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 the, the wrecking crew here yeah. Yeah. were uh, recognized yeah, by our nice. own union, for example, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, or uh, uh, the Oscars. Why not? Wouldn't that be nice? But. Um, yeah. I have been grateful for many years that I, uh, you know, can wake up in the morning and instead of going, oh, I have to go to work, yeah. I say, I get to get go to, to go work. To work. Can you and imagine? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's so mm -hmm. wonderful. And I, it, it makes me really appreciate oh the people who are getting up and going to work and making the wheels of industry mm -hmm. turn. It really and, does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, here, you know, we're doing, you know, Dinky the Duck voices. But, <laughs> but, uh, and so you try to live a good life, uh, a, a kind and caring life and a generous life mm -hmm. with your, your family and your friends and, 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 and voiceover, uh, uh, has given me that luxury that I can be a nice person because I have I have the comfort and the confidence yeah. mm -hmm. in you know in my work and I stay busy and I stay engaged and um, hopefully I can keep my health. 
Yes. <laughs> I, I, I just have to add something is, very quickly to Tress, because this is, this is important in, in the context of what Jess was talking about. And we are, we are living that action that we want what we have and we take what we're given with grace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I have had the great gift of having Tress McNeil in my life. And I've known, the only people I've known longer than Tress are my brother and sisters. Uh, and when she that met was to make him feel Mike, better. And she told me that, oh my God, I met the one. I'm going to be 170 on my next birthday. And she said, <laughs> I told Mike this. It was glorious yes. for my dear sweet sister mm -hmm. that she found the one. Yes. And that's another thing, folks. Yes. Don't give up, not only with respect to your work life, but you never know, and it's about getting and back don't up. settle. Yeah, that's right. Don't, don't settle, settle for less glorious yes. joy and than you're allowed. Yeah. Don't they settle. Are, I, I used to think they're <laughs> both. They've both gone to the uh, um, uh, the Magic Kingdom upstairs. But I used to think that Lucy Taylor and Wayne Allwine yeah. Uh, yeah. One of my were favorites, yeah. that Mickey and Minnie in real life were married. Yes, folks. how about that? Yeah. Amazing. And I used to think, and it was true that they were the they were the couple who were most in love. That I could unbelievable. see. Yeah, they were a love match. They, they were. were they and were. I, I even, you'll love this. I kidded with Brucey once when they were both together and they were both just smooching on each other. And oh, I said, yeah. You know what? I just, it's so wonderful to see that Mickey and Minnie love each other. I would pay through the nose to hear what that bedroom sounds like. <laughs> 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 right there, right there, right there. <laughs> oh, like a dog boy. Oh, oh, oh. But they, they love that. But now here we are with my dear, sweet oh. sister who is married to the man of her dreams. And I, I what a, so it's, cool. Yeah. It is. Oh, yes. And it makes me so happy to see you happy, yes. baby. Thank you. Me I too. do. Love we best. love you it's so much. It's been great much. because my husband is great. My and, husband. Oh, my husband. Listen to what you said. Yes. Well, you know, I told you I'd get remarried. Yeah. <laughs> so guys. It's the greatest thing in the world. Yeah. Is there any question or anything that we haven't asked you about that you want to your book, uh, let you, us know? I, I would love it if you asked me about my book. Thank you for taking the bait. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you for taking the bait. Exactly. <laughs> right away, man. Rob, well, yes. tell us a little bit about yes. your book. Would, arm. I would Go love ahead. to. Go um, thank you very much. I had been yeah. asked on uh, for years by fans, very well-meaning fans, and I certainly accept the compliment in which it was given about, hey, man, you should write a book. Honestly, you guys, the last thing the world needs is a Hollywood memoir by a non-celebrity. I've had a great life. I love my friends. I've been married for 35 years. I love my son, my wife. I've not been to rehab yet. Um, <laughs> They're anecdotes. You're right. doing all right, man. But, <laughs> celebrity anecdotes. But then, about three years later at this very time, I was undergoing uh, treatment for stage three throat cancer, which was a mm. bit of a left-hander uh, for a guy who does what we do. Yes. Surprise, yeah. What do we say? Surprise. God, we make plans and God laughs. He I remember does. that phone oh, call. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah. And I told a very few people, uh, two of whom are sitting right here, mm -hmm. uh, because there was no point in everybody's got their chuck. Everybody's got yeah. has, knows somebody who's dealt with cancer. Anyway, yeah, I know. Um, then I thought, now I've got an interesting story. Not because I've survived throat cancer, but because the examples of courage and grace I was able to experience as a result of this glorious career in the guise of children and their parents who went through similar things, only often much more difficult. And often the children didn't make it and their mm -hmm. parents would still keep in touch with me about how important it was that You would Raphael, meet them on the road. Yeah. All the time. Or yeah, Raphael or, or Pinky would call their yeah. child and they mm -hmm. didn't make it, but you will never know what Ninja Turtles meant to my family. <sighs> Stuff that you mean? can't even, yeah, can't yeah. even grasp. Yeah. Right? Yeah. My son is healthy and all of that. I will never have to experience that. So now I thought I've got something that's interesting, and that is what the book is about, about the extent to which these characters really affect people in them. And, and I had, and the book is coming out, um, well, it's out now, as a matter of yes. fact. It's out now. Um, yeah. October 8th. Where can people find it? Um, they can Everywhere. find it uh, uh, on Amazon or in a bookstore near you. And it's yes. called? Voice it's called Lessons. Voice Lessons. Uh, my my co-writer, Mike Fleeman, came up with that name, and it's a, totally appropriate because the book is about the lessons I've learned as a result of the work I've done with my voice. And it turns out that all these children and their parents uh, going through impossible circumstances mm -hmm. gave me uh, lessons of courage that helped me through my own time in the cancer cage. And just a few weeks ago, I had another example of that. And I shared it with Tress and, and Jess and a couple of other friends. Beautiful. 
I wasn't interested in sharing the photograph of the young man because that's not my job and it's, 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 not, fit, it's, not, it's not right. But I had a circumstance in um, uh, New, Hampshire, New Hampshire in which a young man came up to visit me like he does all of us uh, who was on the autism spectrum. And uh, his sister told me that he suffers from debilitating anxiety, which really keeps him from leaving his home. But God bless him, he mustered up the courage with her help because he wanted to meet Yakko. <laughs> Not me, Yeah. Yakko. Now, he knew it was me. He's probably 30. But it was about the character, which is what the book is about. Yeah. And we touched on it earlier. And I kind of glanced, I, you know, as I was talking to other people, I saw this young sure. man out of the corner of my eyes just literally going like this. And he'd go from crying to <laughs> doing that while he was standing in line. Yeah. And yeah, it was off-putting to certain people because, you know, he was struggling. But he made it up to me and he didn't give up. And he came up to me and as soon as I said, hey, he just... <laughs> and it was... It was the anxiety of having to go through that experience, but he pushed through it. And there are three photographs that I didn't know that was be, that were being taken by- His sister took them? I'm sorry? Did his sister take those pictures? Uh, no, it was somebody who, or, who was one of the organizers of the con mm -hmm. who oh. saw what Beautiful. was happening. Oh. And his sister was there taking pictures of this exchange between myself and this sweet young boy. But in the three photographs, you see the young man walking up to me, distraught. His face is gnarled and he has, he's doing this. And then uh, I, I, I put my hands on his shoulders. You can't see my face, you see the back of my head because it's not about me, it's about the boy. Yeah. And he goes from this to this to, as soon as he hears, hello nurse, he goes. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. really and great. And that's photograph. the way the conversation went for the next, I don't know, eight or nine minutes. Yeah. Oh, you, had, you talked to him that long? Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. But it was, it's precisely what the book is about. Yeah. We are, Incredible. we're the vessels, but it's about what Tom Ruger and Steven Spielberg and uh, uh, Gene McCurdy and uh, Sherry Stoner and Deanna Oliver and Peter Hastings and Gordon Bresick and Charlie Howell and all these people who put this stuff yeah. together yeah. to conspire to create a character that not I was so the vessel for, mm. but whether or not he meant he knows me is really not the issue. And it's not false modesty, folks, it's not. I, I, I'm fine. But to see what this young man was pushing through so he could meet freaking Yakko. <laughs> <laughs> but what doesn't hurt is that the three of you in particular are incredible ambassadors. Yes, as people. I, thank you, I so think we So your are. characters are beautiful and memorable and you bring them to life brilliantly. Thank but you. the fact that when people meet oh, you, they honey. don't go, Ugh. Yeah. It, it's just a nice overflow from the fantasy into we reality. We could not be more so grateful. Thank yeah. you for that because it it's really special. Us, and there's it's never, really special. it's never double negative, never not miraculous. Yeah. And I want to soak that up every yeah. minute of it yeah, until yeah. I can't yeah. do it anymore. You anymore. make people cry. I, Jeff, well, just yeah, those yeah. Two. I say every a lot single of person cry. out there that's watching this, share this and oh. go out and buy Rob's book. Yes. And then and throw that oh, yes. on the best sellers yes. list. Voice right? lessons. Wouldn't that be wild? There Voice you go. Lessons, I would be yes. very, very wild. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And but wait, there's but more. But wait. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Jesse. There's oh, another well, author. Yeah. I, okay, before I get to my thing, I got, I got to interject about Rob's book that one thing I think is so beautiful and it alludes to what he just said too. Two things that happen at Comic Cons that always amaze me are when people mm. are finished talking with me, sometimes they'll go, they'll look me in the eye and very sincerely they'll go, Thank you for being so nice. Yeah. And I'm always like, how could I not be How nice? could you not be? How could you not be nice, right? Yeah. But I'll tell you a, a, a quick anecdote that's, that's before I get back in and it brings it full circle is I was sitting in a green room at a Comic-Con one time and a very well-known TV uh, on-camera actor who you'd all know um, was looking at me and, and, and uh, I said, hey, what's up, man? And he goes, hey, he goes, you know, you're sitting across from me. And I said, yeah, yeah. And he said, you got a big line. And I said, yeah, God bless America, man. I don't get it, but they- And it works on every chick I've ever met. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> just one, just one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, and I said, uh, I said, I said, yes, it's, it's pretty amazing, man. And uh, he said, yeah, you, you spent a lot of time with him, right? As Rob just said, he spent several minutes with that boy. And I said, yeah, well, I figure, you know, if they're gonna wait two hours, you know, <laughs> and they get up there and there's not a water slide, it's the least I can do is oh. just take a couple minutes with him, you know? And this guy said to me, he goes, wouldn't you rather make more money? 
Because obviously, mm. if you go a little faster, sure. you make more money. And I swear to you, it wasn't premeditated. I just, I, he said that, and I went, eh, yeah, I'd rather make a difference, right? And what was cool about it is he just sort of nodded. But over the course of the rest of that weekend, three on-air celebrities, all of whom you would know, came up to me, said that they heard that conversation and that it made them rethink hmm. how they treated the people mm. that wow. were waiting to say hi to us. So, you know, having said all of that, the, the beautiful thing about Rob's book that I that I love, and I, and I mentioned it to him, is that a lot of these people that meet him, you know, they're looking up at him like, oh my gosh, this is Rob Paulson. I mean, he's the voice of all these things that I've done. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And meanwhile, they're struggling with things in their lives. A lot of the folks we meet, whether it's illness or finances or, you know, human struggles. Yeah. Well, now Rob's book is sort of his way of saying, listen, you know, I love all you guys that love all the stuff I've done. I've, I've gone through stuff too. Mm. And it was hard for me. I mean, a voice actor getting throat cancer, you know, I don't even want to get like emotional about it. But when he, when he called me up, man, it was brutal you yeah. know for all of us just yeah because we love them and i that, know you that, do yeah I, I know you do and that's like you know uh, seriously one of the preeminent voice actors of a generation gets hit in the throat it's like we, <laughs> yeah. we, we were yeah. all just yeah. stunned by it but he made it through yeah and he's on the other side yeah. and it gives hope to people and i just i love all that stuff yeah me now too, man. On, on a completely different note you know you mentioned rob's book i i also have written a book yay it's not <laughs> yeah how about that thanks mike mike gets a, a little bit of a different kind of a, a book. little less inspirational yeah, I, can't, I can't give away too much of the concept because the concept is really cool in fact when i went to, to new york to talk to publishers about it they're all it's like it's fiction it is fiction yes. it's a novel and uh it's it's really it's really exciting it's sort of it's kind of like a uh, pop culture mm -hmm. serial killer social commentary yeah. novel and it's yes. very, it's very for children yeah it's for children yes. it's, but you know what it's not it's not graphic revival. it would be a juicy it's cartoon more, it's more of it's more of a book that i hope after people read it or even hear about it they're going to talk about it yeah because yeah. without giving too much away i think it's going to lead to a lot of conversation so yes. that's very yeah. exciting that's that's one thing that i've and, been doing hold, hold on i just want to add one little yeah, thing to that because yeah. jess had read to me a little bit, a yeah. chapter mm -hmm. of of his new book, yeah. and I was literally floored, and I, I felt like I was so, like I was just submerged into this movie, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I, like I want to I want to see this in. in did a you know? Did you think thing. he had it in him? Did <laughs> you know that he could write? Yeah, did you know? I know, not like that. Well, you're you're <laughs> an, like an avid reader. Story. You yeah. read everything. But what is like, like about a that, Stephen though. King book? Yeah, What's yeah, important about that is it just does it because it makes us so happy. Yeah, whether or not you make a dime, it's like the podcast. Make a dime yeah. for it, and somebody, somebody say, "Hey, I think we can monetize this." Yeah. And, oh, yeah. exactly. Great idea. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You do it for the joy yeah. of it, which yeah. ultimately translates into success, whether that's financial or personal. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. About right. The joy of right. living your life. Absolutely. Totally, yes. man. Yeah. And, I and then the I, two of you in well, 2020 yeah. have an album dropping. Yeah. 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 Rock yeah. Sugar, yeah, so good. Well, I'll tell you so about excited. that too. But you know, before before I second into that, the thing with the book that's cool too, and it totally ties into what Rob just said, is that when I finished it. My whole gauge of writing it was if I didn't write this, because I'm pretty good at separating myself from my own stuff. I, if I if I didn't write this, would I think it was cool? And I'm like, I think this was oh really cool. It's yeah. really, it's a really yeah. good story. Yeah. You know, so I finished it. And and what somebody said to me, they said, Well, you know, boy, you know, what if you sell like millions of books? I said, That'd be great, that'd be great. And they said, On the other hand, what if you don't sell any? Yeah, I said, I still wrote it, man. You did. Yeah. You did. So 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 and, stay and we should tuned. add too that yeah. stay tuned. Yes. Yeah. Stay for tuned for when that. The book comes out yes. and all the details. It'll be in about it. Yes, by next and also year. we should Absolutely. add that Rob, you recorded the audio book. I did. Of course of you did. Your book, Can you imagine if he great. didn't? Thank you. I did the audio book. By the way, do you know that there were the check this out? You're not gonna believe this. When I the, 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 the company that was producing it was like, well, we're we're thinking about having you do the audiobook. You're I thought thinking it was about a joke. It. Yeah. But you know, we all know people who are professional audiobook yes. readers, yes. which is a totally but, different skill set that yes. I totally. seriously did yes. not possess. It's, Can a, you it's yes. really But I recommend getting yeah. both because they both serve different purposes yes. to be able to touch your memoir and to be able to listen to it. And so my get them both. Sweet boy, yeah. Ash, my yeah. son, Ash. Uh, wrote the forward and yeah. read the forward. I'm mean, very proud of that. So thank you. That's thank fantastic. you. Thank you so much for it. Of course. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. man. And, and, and then far, you boys now, have some as far as scary, the, the, great the, the, music coming out. Yeah, the record. If, if you guys haven't yet done so, I encourage you. And again, it has nothing to do with me being involved in it because I've often said to you and everybody else, if I wasn't in the band and I saw the band, I'd be like, this is so cool. It is. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's this thing called Rock Sugar that we came up with as a goof where basically if you like anything about 80s music and now modern music more on that in a second what we do is we take the coolest like metal songs of the 80s like metallica acdc stuff like that but i sing over those songs i sing songs by journey 
or Madonna, Paula Paul Abdul, Abdul, and like 80s pop artists over heavy metal. Yes. So and it becomes like a mashup. That's awesome. And we ended up opening it up for Aerosmith it's and so these huge shows because it's all the songs you know, but they all got real liquored up. And That's it's the, the best way. part of each one because now when you hear the original, you're like, this is so it. Is. Yeah. A little totally. boring. A little yeah. boring. A little yeah. boring. Yeah. Pour yeah. some sugar on me yeah. and I love rock and roll really That's are the exciting. same song. And That's we exciting. prove it. But <laughs> but what we decided to do with the new record, what's really cool, because we do in fact, all you rock sugar folks out there who have been asking, we do in fact have a new album that's going to be ready next year. I We think. We wouldn't have done it if we didn't. But it's better than the first one. Oh, right? it's better. Yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. I, I think it is. And what's really cool too is that on the new one, on the old one, all we did was 80s tunes. On this one, we're taking 80s metal, but we're singing contemporary pop songs mm -hmm. as well. So we got like Bruno Mars represented and Katy Perry represented and people like that. Adele. So now yeah. the adults and the kids are, are all going to be singing along and it's so absolutely good. more beautiful. So good. Absolutely. And, I, and I have to add one thing. Yeah. Jess Harnell sings better on this record than True he that. ever has in his He's getting life. How is that possible? This is not the way it's supposed I to work. Sure. You know, and I told him that. I go, You're like, oh, no, he is. I have singers. never heard you sound so yes. amazing in my life. You know what it is? I don't know how he does it. Because his heart is exploding with love. That's yeah. right. That's it. Somebody um, might be right. Yeah. That's what it is, Do you have anything man. to add, Tress? No. She's like, I'm done. Let me go home. No, 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 I'm not like that at all. Are you in a band now? She's going to be in a band. You're in a band now. Yeah. You're in a band. You're singing in our band. She's in a band called Joan Jett and the Black Farts. Oh, I love that. Look everybody. Totally different record. Oh, my goodness gracious. You guys, seriously, we could we could physically keep you hostage, but we won't. I'm a groupie. But we can't thank you enough. Oh, we can't thank you We can't celebrate you enough because you are truly three of our favorite people yes, and you. every joy and abundant blessing that's coming to you is so well deserved. Oh, so thank, thank you for thank taking you. the time to share with your and thank legion of you fans. Guys. Yeah, thank you so much. We for love your support to us and to them. Without thank an audience, yes. we got bupkis, yeah. baby. So we thank you. You know. My goodness. You know. Thank you guys. Anytime. We love you. Thanks very much. Bye. Don't Wait, wacko, you know, wacko, wacko and dad. Can three. I just get you a good, good yeah. yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Goodbye, next. We just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy. And it hurt. <laughs>